Welcome to this video. In this video, I would like to talk about a great possibility to output your data. Here right now, I have opened up the ABAP editor, so the transaction code SE38. And here right now, I am selecting data of the table SCARR, so the table containing information of airlines. Then I'm saving this information into an internal table, so the uh, ETAB airlines. And later on, I would just like to output these information. So I simply yeah, go through um, the internal table, setting it to a field symbol and then writing it to the output. If I execute this report, then we can see the output. Yeah, folks, I know the format is not the best, I know, but just for demo purposes, I would like to show you the output. But I think there is an easier way you can use in order you would just like to output just to print your information. And uh, the shown information is, in my opinion, just for uh, development, just for testing purposes and not for production. But there is one great class in its CL underscore demo underscore output. Uh, because within here, for example, you can use uh, the static method display if you like to, and then you can uh, export basically your internal table. And as you can see right now, that's basically all. So here right now we have called a static method called display of this class uh, transferring the internal table declared via inline. And now if I execute this once again, then I can see and then pop up in an output that the information has been output probably. <laughs> it's now formatted nicely and better and now you can easily see what is the outcome um, by the way you can also use the same information within eclipse within the uh, ABAP development tools just hitting f9 and then you're also there good to go to see the information within the console and yeah that's basically all because of that i would really highlight this great class cl underscore demo underscore output and if we go through this then we see a lot of methods right here so you have a lot of possibilities to format your output as you want to and you have to keep in mind that there are some instant methods where you need to have an instance and there are some static methods then you can call immediately and here right now for example if we see all the right methods so the right or the let's begin with the right data the right text for example the right xml the right json and the right html so with the, these kind of methods um, you can write different kinds of output into the output stream and uh, with the methods uh, write data you can write elementary data objects so no reference variable structures with elementary components and internal tables of such line times and there is also one method the write method and keep in mind that this method is generic so it handles ABAP data as well as texts and there is also um, the, the display uh, methods. So for example, right here. And um, yeah, it's kind of like works similar compared to the write method, but uh, this close to current output stream and opens a new one. And if the SAP GUI is available, the output is displayed in a window. If you would like to format it, you can also use, for example, the line method, because with this you can create a horizontal line, a horizontal line, and uh, yeah, 
this uh, is, I think, great. If you would like to get to know more about this class, about the different methods, then I think you can also call up uh, the documentation. So within the class builder, SE24, you can go to go to and then documentation and then class. And there is a great documentation in my opinion available for this class uh, because within here uh, all the methods as i have explained you are explained uh, once again um, in this text and what is also great uh, that there are two uh, demo programs you can use uh, one program for all the static methods and another program for the instance methods and for example if we open up the se38 then we can uh, use this method and with the f8 key or this execute button yeah we can um, uh, test this we can execute this for example I would like to uh, output the uh, text and then here you can see uh, what is happening you see the different examples and yeah if you would like to know how this works then you can go one step back and in, within the ABAP editor you can show the source code so you click on display and then within here you are seeing yeah what what happens within there so um yeah you can always see based on this class uh, what is what is basically happening and uh, look through those example um in detailed afterwards um but yeah you can do exactly the same for the uh, instance so within this then just execute this maybe once again the html output mode and then here we have yeah also the html output mode so and yeah as mentioned i can really really highly recommend um, this class once again seal underscore demo underscore output and I'm pretty sure that based on different articles for example on SAP community on SAP blogs a lot of people are using this class and yeah I honestly I'm using um, the right statement but at some point I'm also the class state uh, the class itself and if you have any questions left regarding this class I know that there is there's a lot of functionality, a lot of use cases out there. Put them in the comment section and please subscribe to this YouTube channel to never miss great upcoming videos. Thank you so much and then see you in the next video.